Okay, today we're talking about color theory. Let's get going. Oh, I redid my slides, okay. Hair color can change in one of two ways, temporarily or permanently. Would any of you enjoy a product that they came out with that said you could try being a blonde for a day and tomorrow it would wash out? Yeah, heck yeah. Wouldn't, you, wouldn't that be awesome? Just to try out blonde and then it just washes out the next day? Um, so people, people have misconceptions about color. I know you guys know a lot more about color than the average person, but I had a client one time that had really light blonde hair, probably like Odessa, and she decided to tint it jet black. And then she came in and she, she wanted me to just take the jet black off and have her regular color back. You know what I'm talking about? She thought it was just like laying on top of her color and I could just remove that jet black and her color would still be there. Many hours later, you know, she was down to like a strawberry blonde trying to get that black off. So, um, you know, you've got just adding color, the shampoo's out immediately or over time. So what are all the different forms that temporary color can take? How have you added temporary color to your hair? Spray. Anybody ever use chalk? Okay. What else? Okay. Um, anybody ever use mousse that has color in it? That works pretty good. All right. And then permanently, either adding or removing color pigment. Okay. Color is the reflection of light. So think about when you enter a dark room, like at night. Is anything colorful? No. Everything's just kind of the same shade. You have to have light to have color. There's no way you can see it. It's how it reflects off of everything, whether you see red or black or white or blue. It's the wavelengths coming off of, off of things. Okay, so we've got um, the, um, the different colors there. Can someone tell me what are all the different colors in um, the light that we can see? It's a guy's name. Roy G. Biff. Somebody tell me what they are. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Excellent. Okay, now, so that's what we can see, but on the far side of red, we can see infrared. Okay, it's there. It adds heat to us, and if I went back there and said, I'm gonna put an infrared light on your hair to make it dry, it would look red, but they just add a coating to the light bulb. We can't really see infrared. And what is on the other side of violet that you get when you go outside in the summer? What kind of rays? Has the word violet in it. What do you put sunscreen on to keep? Yay, ultraviolet. Aren't you worried about those UV rays? Ultraviolet. Okay, so we can't see those. We can't see infrared, we can't see ultraviolet. Okay, they're off on, they're out of the visible spectrum. Let's see, did you see my bottle that has pineapples on it? It has what on it? It has pineapples. No. Is it a water bottle? Yeah, it's a water. It's like a 40 ounce water bottle that has pineapple. Okay, sorry. Just FYI, that would make an excellent question. Okay, law of color. There are three primary colors. They are considered pure. So, can you mix anything and get red? No. No. Okay, so the three primary. When you mix the primaries together, you get secondaries. Okay, so let's do this. Let me, <coughs> let me change, okay. So if I go like this, red, blue, and violet, my three, or, no, <laughs> say no, Mrs. Godlet. That's not right. 
red, blue, and yellow. If I do that to make my color wheel, or I go blue, yellow, red, or I go yellow, blue, red. No matter which order I put it in, it's going to work. Okay, it's called the law of color. It's not a suggestion or a good idea. Okay, it's always going to work this way. We can't change it. So if I mix yellow and red, what do I get? Orange. Okay. If I mix blue and red? Okay, we'll say violet. Yellow and blue? Green. Green. Okay. So let me see here. Don't I have an eraser? I thought I had an eraser. Oh, great. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. So we got yellow, blue, red. Yellow and red make orange. Blue and red make violet. Yellow and blue make green. Okay. If I get somebody in the, sh in the shop and I turn them orange by accident, how do I fix it? How do I fix orange? Okay, it's always whatever is opposite it on the color wheel. You never showed us that house. The what thing? The house. Oh yeah, yeah, I gotta show you that. Okay, I will. All right, so whatever's opposite, they neutralize each other. If you mix this and this, you get a neutral, okay? What does the little broom do? Does that take away? Why don't I have an eraser? Misty, it looks like the camera should off. Does it really? It's black. Nope, it's still going. Okay, thank you though. Okay, so. Okay, you're in kindergarten. And the teacher says, Cadence, draw me a sun. Which of these three colors would you use to draw a sun? Yellow and orange. One more. And red. Okay. Yellow, orange, and red. So I'm going to draw just like that. Okay. Yellow, orange, and red. So is the sun cold or is it hot? What is it? <laughs> okay, these are your warm colors. If the kindergarten teacher says, draw me in the ocean, green, blue, and violet, is the ocean hot or cold when you get in? Okay, it's cold. Okay, so those are your cool colors. So think of, there's a bunch of different ways you can think about this, guys. If you are going to fix a color, okay, if you turn someone's hair orange and it's warm, you're going to use blue, which is a cool color to fix it, which is going to create a neutral. If you turn them green, which is cool, you're going to use red to fix it, which is a warm color. Okay? So it's always going to be across there. Now, let's go back to our orange and blue scenario. All right, so I turn her blue by accident. And she doesn't want it, she wants a neutral color. And I have to use orange. How do I get orange? Okay, so what you're saying is, I have a problem and it's a primary color. And to fix it, I have to use two primary colors. Is everybody following me on that? Paige, you okay there, buddy? Okay. Let me change this. Okay. Give me another scenario. Tell me what my mistake is. I tried to dye your hair purple and it came out green. Okay, you got green. Okay. So I have green hair. How do I fix green hair? Red. Red. Okay. So green is actually what? How do I get green? Blue, yellow. Blue and yellow. So in 
Every time I'm trying to get a neutral color, in essence, I'm using all three primaries. Yes. Just real quick, it's a silly question, but I'm asking for a certain reason. What time's our mask break today? 115. Okay, because I need to make sure Kylie's cleaned up. She leaves at 1.30. She'll go straight from. Uh, yep, not a silly question. Okay. All right, so that goes through. So you guys okay with these colors? And the really, the thing that I love about this is so you said you're green and we know you need red. So you can look through here and it will literally tell you, here's red, red, here's red, orange, here's just plain red, here's orange, red. So um, let me see, I'll go a couple more slides and it'll, whoops, still trying to do that. Okay. So there's our tertiary colors. Okay, so we start out with our red, yellow, blue again. It's gonna be like both of us probably. Red, yellow, blue, violet, green, orange. Okay, so if I mix these two colors, what do I get? What's my tertiary called? Say it louder. Red, violet. Okay, if I mix these two, what do I get? Not violet blue. Okay, the other one. Blue violet. Okay, these two? Blue green. Blue green. These two? Yellow green. These two. Say a little louder. Yellow orange. Excellent. And these two? Red orange. Okay, so the rule is which color always comes first in that name? The primary always comes first. Okay, so the primary is the one you say the first, that you say first. Okay, so you've probably been following that your whole life and just never thought about it. Um, uh, I get out of here? There we go. Okay, this is what I wanted to tell you. You know how it's said on here like orange, red, and red, orange? Well, if I have red, orange, and I go directly across from it, I need blue, green to fix it. Okay, so you would go in here and see if you could find a blue, green. Okay, something that had that base. If you had red, violet, you'd be looking for a yellow, green. Okay, so even the tertiary colors come into play here when you're trying to fix. Okay, we talked about warm and cool. They're saying here that yellow green can be warm if there's more yellow to it or cool if there's more green and red violet can be more warm if it's more red and cool if it's more violet. All right, and you see when you mix them across the color wheel in the middle, it's neutral. Okay, that's a lot of times what you're trying to go for. And these three examples show you that if you have light brown hair, you're seeing more yellow in the three primaries. If you have medium brown, you're seeing more red. And if you have dark brown, you're seeing more of the blue. So again, even though you have the three primaries mixed, you have them in varying um, proportion. Blue is the darkest of the three primaries. So if you have more blue, you're gonna have darker hair automatically. If you have more yellow in there, in the mixture, you're going to have lighter hair. Okay, hue, value, and intensity. You are never going to say, hear me say, what hue is that? I'm going to say, what color is that? But know that hue and color are the same word for the test. So there's your hues. Roy G. Boo. All right. I'm going to say what level is it? You've got a level from 1 to 10. What level is the darkest? Kylie. I can't find it. Which, kind of Which one is the darkest of these? Anybody know? Let me show you. 
if I can find the right one on here. Well, this is ash, but this will work. Okay, no matter if you're using Redken, um, Aveda, uh, Matrix, Paul Mitchell, it doesn't matter. This is a European system. One basically always means black, 10 basically always means blonde. And then you've got all the shades in here. Our mannequins are usually an eight when they come in um, from the manufacturer. And um, some manufacturers will go up as high as 12. So if you see anything above 10, it's just more blonde, okay? They just rate it a little bit differently. What happens though, is suppose a person came in with level one hair, and I don't recommend this in any way, shape or form, but let's say that they wanted to go bleach blonde. They probably wouldn't have any hair left when they were done. Underneath each one of these colors, remember how I just said, under a dark brown, what's the predominant color? What's the darkest primary? Blue. Blue. Okay, so you've got some blue going on there. So we're starting out with black, so we're gonna see some blue. And then we're gonna go to some brown. And then we're gonna go to like brown red. And then we're gonna go to red, and we're gonna go to like red orange, and we're gonna go to orange, and we're gonna go to orange yellow, and then yellow, and so on. So if you've ever seen someone try to lighten their hair themselves at home, and they end up with orange hair, what happens is they put the lightener on and they panic at some point and they rinse it off instead of letting it continue to work. So when you're getting to that orange stage, you're just not far enough. You know, everybody wants this silver hair. That's scary because you have to lighten it really light to get to that, okay? Level, the other word you're gonna see on the test is value level or value. I'm always going to say levels, one through ten. Intensity. All right, so you've got, you've got your basic, um, you got your red brown. Okay, there's red in it. Is there a lot of red? No. Okay, and then you've got like your red red or your red violets. They get more and more intense. They get more and more red in them. Okay, so you've got intensity. So you've got hue, value, and intensity. Okay, so we're gonna check what you know. Go ahead and, and these are not numbered right.